Hey everyone, and welcome to another video from your host at All Things Unrelated. Okay, so this one is about my motorcycle. So I have a 2009 Honda Shadow 750, and I was having issues with it not starting and holding a charge. So I can bump start my motorcycle a few times, but otherwise, and that's also not good for your mo motorcycle over the long run, um, but otherwise I had to hook it up 2005 Chevy Colorado with jumper cables and then jump start my bike. And even when I charged my motorcycle battery with a trickle charger, it was still not enough to crank my bike up. So now let me tell you my problem more in depth in case you have the same issue. So I would turn the key and the bike's electricity would come on with no problem. I would then turn the kill switch on and then press the start button. However, it would not run. It would try to crank and make some noise and then just die. So the bike was getting electricity. So for some reason, the battery wasn't charging either, even after riding it for some time. So after discussing this with some friends, they thought it was the stator. So of course, I bought a stator online. We went to put it on, but after taking the bike apart, we realized we had to drain the oil first in order to change the stator, and we were just not prepared to do that. Which actually turned out to be a good thing. Here's why. So my friend started to just troubleshoot other areas and look at fuses just in case. He wanted to hear the problem since all he knew was just me explaining the issue to him so he wanted to hear and see it firsthand. So I tried to crank it and he discovered something. There was this loud, rapid clicking noise coming from the right side of the bike. This happened to turn out to be the rectifier. Every time we tried to start the bike, the rectifier would make this fast and loud clicking noise, which to him was not normal. A digital multimeter to check the rectifier. The currents he was looking for were just not the same and we were getting no current on some of the tests. This rectifier had gone bad. And now I did not tape ourselves testing the rectifier, uh, but you can YouTube it. The bike is over a decade old. And just a fun fact for you, Honda and most motorcycle companies will not service a bike over a decade old. So we installed the new switch, which is fairly simple. Ensure you use your choke. We also change out all of the four spark plugs. So ensure that you have the special size tool because we learned the hard way on this too. It's a 18 millimeter spark plug wrench for Honda. And you can buy the spark plugs at your local AutoZone or I got mine at a local O'Reilly's. I am not sponsored. So, all right. I think that covered it and then some. Hopefully you learned something from us and you're on your way to fixing your own motorcycle. Please like and subscribe for more content to come covering all things unrelated. Be safe and ride on.